what's up and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at this box here, Box 1 by Neil Patrick Harris. If you guys haven't checked out the full interview that I did with Neil, uh, which was incredible, we talked magic, puzzles, escapes, and much more. You can check that video out. It's yesterday's upload. If you're here to find out about Box 1, don't worry. We're not we're not going to be posting any major spoilers. There will be, obviously, we're going to look what's inside the box, and we might delve into uh, the solve a little bit on camera. I don't want to give away too much because I do want to give you guys a chance to get this. To my knowledge, this is only available in Targets right now, so I believe only in the United States, unfortunately. There will be probable distribution afterwards internationally, but until then, if you can find a buddy that lives in the United States to maybe cop it for you, go ahead and do that. If not, you can live vicariously through my videos. Um, so here we go, Neil Patrick Harris. Let's take a look at the box. This box was made by uh, Theory 11, designed by Theory 11. They did a really, really great job on the packaging here. There are some little symbolism, there, there's a little bit of symbolism here uh, throughout, including what looks like a floppy disk, a uh, key, a fingerprint perhaps, a lock. You got Neil's eye peering through this keyhole, a game for one, created by one. And it says an ever evolving game of trivia codes, puzzles, and discovery. They even have this cool little sticker seal that's on there, which I think is really dope. And this, this hole in the back where this eye is, I don't know what that is, but uh, in the back it says, presented by Neil Patrick Harris. Box one is an ever-evolving game of trivia, code-breaking, and puzzles, uniquely designed to challenge only one person. And it seems that person is you, and only you, alone. Prepare to set out an exciting adventure like no other as you discover, unlock, and decode the secrets of Box One, a game for one, created by one. Ages 14 plus, internet access required. If you guys may recollect on the interview that we had with uh, Neil, he said there was no modern component. I politely call BS on that because it says internet access required, so there is some component uh, that you know you need to be online for. That being said, so here we go. We're gonna open box one for you. And uh, I've previously opened this box and I've just blurred out uh, the website that was here. Um, and you'll see why in a second. Box one. Hey friend, it's your friendly friend, Neil Patrick Harris. I hope you're alone and excited to challenge yourself because you're about to dive deep into my crazy awesome new game, box one. You'll be using all of the items you find inside to complete the box one challenge. Are you by yourself right now? Seriously, are you? Okay, great. The game involves a series of challenge cards that you need to play in order. Follow every instruction strictly and keep your eyes peeled as you never know when this game might take a turn. Use the notepad and pen to jot down any thoughts or clues you discover along the way. Feel free to consult the internet for any help you may need. Ah. Uh, to begin, find the black envelope in the game box. It contains an important message inside. Read it now. After that, open the box of challenge cards and read the first card. If you truly get stuck, need a hint, visit this site. Good luck, NPH. I wonder if there's like clues on this thing here. There may be. Maybe like Braille, is this Braille? No, okay, definitely not. So look at this. This is the beautiful packaging over at Theory 11. They always, you know, they've done stuff like, they've done stuff like this here, which is a you know, beautiful brick box of cards. They've obviously also designed uh, Neil's playing cards, which we did a video about, which are these here. Uh, so just, Screams luxury, really. It's a, it's a it's a nice little nice little package. It feels like a classical board game, which is really cool. I'm a big board game fan, by the way. I'm a fan of lots and lots of board games, and obviously a fan of puzzles. So this is right up my alley. Uh, it says the black envelope. Before we look at that, let's have a look at the items that we are given here uh, right now. So you're given this envelope. Which says box one. We are given a box of challenge cards, and even the box of challenge cards is quite nice. Really a lot of attention to packaging here, which is nice. The unboxing experience is quite splendid. The pen with uh, Neil's design here, his logo here, and we have our notepad. Yeah, just looking to see if they're being sneaky at all, you know? If we lift this up, now there's nothing under there. So this is our notepad to take notes. We will take this out. Box one. You will need this card later. Okay. Welcome to card number one of box one. Prepare to take a journey 
like never before in this ever-evolving game of trivia, puzzles, riddles, and cryptic codes. I really hope that you are the one. To successfully complete box one, you must follow all of my instructions very carefully. Now take a deep breath and let it out. <laughs> okay, now you come back to normal breathing. Did you do that? Fantastic. Just a simple test to see if you are good at following instructions. Apparently, I am. Now take the card from the black envelope and put it in your freezer and leave it there. Seriously, you have to do it. Once you've done that, come back and keep playing. Okay, be right back. All right, uh, now take, the, okay, we did that. <clears throat> Stop, the next card is super important. Proceed when ready. Now make sure you play all the cards right underneath me in order. Okay, set, go. Using the capital letters from the previous card, solve this. Blank is the capital of which country? So that's P A R I S. Okay, what's well the capital of France? Again, these are, this is like the first main mission if I feel like I'm getting too spoily, I will I will not include it right now. We're just kind of doing like the first layer to give you a taste of what's going on in this game. What is the most famous landmark in that country? Well, that's the Eiffel Tower. And this is one, oh, this is cool. Two, three, four, wait, one, two, E, I, F, E. Those are two Fs. Are there two Fs in Eiffel Tower? I guess so. So those, uh. Those are numbered, okay. Using the letters in specific order from the previous answer to complete the quote. There is nothing so important as, this is cool. As trifles? There's nothing as important as trifles. Who said this? Ah, so this is the part where you get to use the internet to find out uh, who said that quote, I'm guessing. Okay, you know what, let's look it up. Conan Doyle, Arthur Conan Doyle, gotcha, Conan Doyle. Okay, so at this point, what we're experiencing is we have our number code and it's asking now, okay, what his most popular character was. I'm just gonna take a peek here. Ah. It does get increasingly complex. So these are very basic uh, starter clues, but then it starts to get into pretty random things like the last word from the answer to card number 13 mixed with, you know, the previous card's answer. And then also the red house is on the white street and the blue house is on the red street. Where is the blanks house? Uh, so it does get a little bit more cryptic. I'm not gonna go any further than that for you guys. Uh, but you can see where this is going. So this is the initial phase that you have to follow in sequence, which is very cool. I really enjoy this a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and skip past some of this just so that I don't spoil it for you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. That suddenly uh, something is starting to make a lot of sense. You guys remember in the previous video, that uh, I did, which was uh, the interview with Neil. And there was an awkward moment. There was like a bizarre moment where Neil was flustered by me asking him about who helped him create this game. You created this with someone else, correct? This was not just you? This was, uh, you were like, there was a team? No, no. All right, well, I mean- let, No, I mean, I spend a lot of time, like you spend a lot of time on a singular thing to then be asked if someone else was like involved in the in the creation of it, which is I disappointing. He was very weirded out about that question. The very reason for that, if those of you are wondering if why Neil was acting this weird, the reason has is is actually very important, and it has to do with this game, believe it or not, which is crazy. This man is a human enigma, but he he laid down some. I guess he laid down some clues in that interview about what to expect in this box. For those of you who have this box, you understand what I'm saying. That's really crazy. All right, I'm gonna take a break here because there are some things that I have uncovered that are hidden. 
uh, to to uh, are supposed to be, uh, I guess, kept secret. Um, I will show you what those items are. I won't show you how to get those items, and I won't show you what those items do, but here are some of the extra things that happen along your journey. We do find this coin, which is very sick. I won't tell you where this coin is found, but you do find this coin, and there's something mysterious about that coin. You also find somebody's keychain. There are a few other items like this floppy disk, which I did not expect. It's really hard to be cryptic. All I want to do is keep solving this for you guys, but obviously we're not going to do that. I can tell you from my perspective, this is going to be a lot of fun and definitely only play it by yourself. And I know that's going to be hard to do, uh, but it's meant for one person. If you are with some other person, I suppose you could play together, but probably meant you know, for one person. That being said, the amount of ingenuity and thought, uh, I had to put a card in the freezer, by the way, as you guys remember, something very strange happened with that card and I can't, I'm not gonna tell you what that is, but it's crazy. Um, there are a lot of really cool hidden secrets in this box and it is not at all, sorry. It's Mr. Peter McKinnon, hold on. Hello. That's so funny. What's funny? I was trying to undo this puzzle box on the side of a road in my hoodie with a key, and I was vlogging it. And I said, I leaned down to the camera and I was like, I just need Chris Ramsey here to help. I, I'm not really a puzzle guy, and I literally couldn't figure it out. There's a number carved in the side. I don't know the number because you're you're Chris Ramsey in my phone. So I call it. It's Chris Ramsey. <laughs> here, can I put you? Can I put you on Facetime? Couldn't be timed any better. What's up, man? I, I'm currently in the middle of solving a mystery myself. Are you? Yeah. So I pulled this here box from a chain over the edge of this ravine because I found a pirate <laughs> sticker on the railing. <laughs> it fell out. Well. But the key, I can't get the key to All right. Show me the lock. It had my number engraved. Show, show me, show me the lock. All right. So what you got to do, Pete, the key to that lock is actually completely useless. It's just a, a red herring. Yeah, you can put that right in your pocket. There you go. Uh, so you want to turn that middle pin to is where you can't see the hole. You can't see it. Yeah. Does that make sense? And now pull the pin upwards. And that link that, um, the link that the lock is on is actually a ring that you have to turn. The link that the lock is on. How do you do this with fingers so big? <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, it's, it's part of my curse. Okay, so the, the hole is gone. Yep, the pin is up. This, oh, okay, I think I'm figuring it out. And then you gotta rotate. Rotate the actual lock part. Correct. Yep. And now just rotate that. So you can fiddle around with that middle pin part until the uh, the link frees itself. And you can kind of just rotate it out of place. Damn. No, that is sick. That is sick, guys. Uh, Peter McKinnon Puzzle Channel coming soon. <laughs> what's in the box? Dude, that is so rad. Give us a clue. What's in the box? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, if you want to go see uh, what Pete is up to right now, this is pretty hilarious that, that you happen to call me during a puzzle video, by the way. Coordinates. Coordinates. Pete is, on a, Pete is currently on a scavenger hunt for, uh, for, uh, for his birthday. And, uh, and yeah, I won't, I won't say any more than that, but uh, a few of us had a hand in it. And uh, he's, I, I, you're vlogging this, correct? All right, so if you guys you guys want to go check it out, go see uh, go see Pete's channel. Probably one of the dopest little puzzle solves you'll ever see. Yeah, 
Yeah, man. The vlog is a little, uh, it's a little all over the place, but you know, we'll we'll make it work. Yes, I mean, so is mine now, apparently. Thanks. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good, bud. Hey, enjoy and good luck. Call me later. All right, I will. Bye bye. Uh, for those of you who don't know, so uh, obviously Pete and I are really good friends, but Pete uh, and I also share a managing company and managers who are also our friends now, and and uh, they've set up this extravagant treasure hunt for Pete's birthday with some really cool stuff in it, and we added a puzzle layer into it with my phone number engraved on the side of the box knowing that he doesn't know my number by heart, and so he didn't know who he was calling. And I guess when I answered, he's like, oh, this is wild, this is crazy. I'm calling Chris, and he had to call me because obviously you know, he, uh, he wanted to find out how to open that lock. So how cool is that? You guys want to check that out? Go check. This is not set up. I did not know he was going to call me at this point. Uh, I'm a bit all over the place now. Yeah. Like I was saying, there's a card in the freezer. That's cool. There's all sorts of really cool items that you don't, that you're not previously made aware of when opening the box. And all of a sudden they start uncovering themselves, which is crazy because there's nowhere to hide in this box, but somehow they've still done it. There is also a digital component to this. There is a digital component. I'm gonna say that. That's probably one of the cooler parts of this puzzle. I'm not gonna tell you what that digital component is, you will find out during the solve, absolutely. It is not that hard to get to there. Uh, it is much more difficult to figure it out once you're in, in that scenario. I'll leave it at that. So guys, this is just a quick look. I wanted to unbox it and show you guys what you get on the inside of the box and sort of give you a little bit of a taste of the, maybe the difficulty level. It's not super difficult to where you would never solve it. It is definitely something that you're gonna rack your brain over at some parts, but it is extremely solvable for anyone of any level. Uh, it might be a little quicker for some, might take you longer for others, but definitely a fun challenge. At no point are you left feeling helpless or bored or like too dumb to figure it out. Like it's very well done to where you are intrigued, enthralled, and it really does take you along for a journey, uh, which is why I don't wanna give it away because that journey is a lot of fun to experience for yourself. So quick little video on box one, if you guys wanna check it out. Again, I'll have the link below if it's available in your country. If not, uh, you might wanna wait till it starts shipping before you go and watch any spoiler videos on anybody else's channel or anything like that. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, guys, I know this is uh, not your average Wednesday video. We wanted to do something a little special for this and for Neil because he did agree to getting on uh, that interview call with me. So it was really nice of him. So thank you to the people over at Theory 11. Thank you to Neil. Thank you to you guys. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Rah, rah.